Good Monday evening to you and thanks for joining us. I'm Marlisa Goldsmith. For weeks, the campaign for the Central Arkansas seat in Congress has been fought in commercials and web ads. Today, Republican incumbent French Hill and Democratic challenger Joyce Elliott squared off on the debate stage. THV 11's Rolly Hoyt recaps what is expected to be one of the closest electoral decisions we've seen in some time here in Arkansas. Rolly. Now, Marlisa, both the candidates in this tried to portray their opponents using the same broad brushes that we're seeing in national races. State Senator Joyce Elliott accusing the three-term incumbent as being aligned with Wall Street and against the Affordable Care Act, while Hill saying that Senator Elliott is too radical, a fan of big spending programs like Medicare for All. Both sides accused the other of lying at one point, though they did it with civility, unlike the presidential candidates. I do not support defunding the police. Uh, there are things that we certainly can do to work better in our communities because it should never be a zero-sum game. Uh, my opponent has uh, curd, stirred controversy by saying, I think, something that's too radical for the average Arkansan, which is that our police forces are systemically racist. From a safe social distance, that argument over police and justice reform set the tone. After that, from pandemic response to federal spending and especially health care, both candidates stuck to themes. People like Congressman Hill voted to make sure we kept secret the companies that were getting the money. And as it turns out, one of some of the companies that uh, Congressman Hill is invested in was getting that money. The main issue about paycheck protection, though, is the thing that we should all take. It was the best program we could have done. We saved 51 million jobs in this country. Neither candidate ever interrupted the other, even at the most testy exchange. What they've done is they've given up on the cost of Obamacare and are now supportive of a complete government takeover. Congressman, um, I, don't, I don't want to get into a contest of of lies and who's telling lies, but it is just not the case. Both vowed to put more money into rural broadband. Both had similar views on the best police reforms, but in the end, both managed to land their blows when it came to characterizing the other. And, you know, you say you're bipartisan here in the state, but you have the most liberal voting record uh, in the General Assembly. All of this is made worse by our congressman who votes against your health care and is gleeful about it. Now, both candidates in this race skipped the post-debate news conference where the rest of the media could have asked them some questions. They sent spokespeople instead, and neither side actually declared a definitive victory in this one. Here's a couple of unofficial stats for you as well. Governor Asa Hutchinson's name was mentioned about a half a dozen times, mostly by Hill, and while there were several references to him, President's num Trump's name came up only once. We're live in Conway. Roly Hoyt, THV 11 News.